Hi y'all, how y'all doing? My name is Unity. Unity, how y'all doing today? Or tonight? Or wherever you're at in the world. I don't know. <laughs> um and y'all know how many times I have been starting this introduction over and over and over and over and over and over and never really got the right one. At this point I'm just like let me just <laughs> get into it. Unity here. Hello. You and I T Y. My name. <laughs> um yeah. So I really wanted to talk about like why I have not been posting videos and um what I had in mind and just some other stuff, whatever just comes to mind at this point. I have my notes up here, but for some reason my mind is just drawing a blank no matter what I do. I even try drinking. I'm not saying I'm drinking, I'm drunk, but I'm buzzed. I'm buzzed. So, it's quarantine, I'm not working. I actually want to quit my job. But I just feel that I'm not going anywhere with them. What I really want to do is You know, for the past six years of my life, um, when I was like on my own, I was like 18, right? 18. Seven years. Seven years of my life. Okay, seven years of my life, I just really six. Six. If you don't count this year, because this year, last year, I got one home. Six years. The last six years of my life, I really did not doing what was best for me. Um, and I did not see it. I did not see that. And then there was a point in my life where it was like I didn't let myself see that. Like I refused to see it because in the back of my head, it was like it's the same shit. Don't do it, and it's like, nah, we're gonna do it because it's family, or now nah, we're gonna do it because they need help. Instead of just saying no. Like, just completely. And, um. <laughs> At this point, it's just like. I knew exactly what I wanted. I know exactly what I want, like, since I was little. Like, I always wanted to be the person to change the world. I always wanted to be the person to actually help somebody, um, make somebody life better in some way. Or, you know, just being the person that cared. And I was, I'm still trying to figure myself out to this point. Like, I'm still trying to figure myself out. Like, I'm 25 years old. I really thought that I had my life all figured out. Like basically that's just gonna be it. Yeah. Like I really thought that I had my life all figured out. Like I thought that I was gonna be like, okay. As soon as I'm 18, boom. We're gonna start my transition. All the bullshit that we have been holding on to, we're gonna let go of that. Everything is just gonna be out the door. Fuck all that bullshit. We're not gonna talk about it, speak on it, it's gone. Bye. We're gonna finish off, we're gonna start on our um, transition. We are going to finish it at the age of 25. And we're going to make sure that we are having a business that is somehow what I enjoy doing, but it's also helping other people. You know, shit like that. Like, that's what I had in mind for myself when, ever since I was a little kid. And it was like, okay, now that I'm 18, <laughs> I'm out here running around like a fool. And then 19 came along, and I was like, okay, well, still, shit. I was out, 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 like, you know, out being a fool, still. And, um, you know, it's just, oh my God. I don't 
Tá, fui pro Lula Malé. Fui dar pra uma anel. Ah, damn. Ah, fui pro Lula Malé. Ah, fui pro Lula Malé. Ah, fui pro Lula Malé. But anyway, um, I really thought I had everything figured out. Like, I really thought I did. I thought I was gonna let everything go. But now I'm 25. I I've been living on my own for the past year, for the first time ever. Like my own place, my own apartment, my own thing. Like I got everything by myself. Like I just. On my 24th birthday, I really was not, like, happy. I was just losing it because every time I look in the mirror, I see the same person that was the same flat-chested boy looking in the mirror. Like, it was the same flat-chested boy. Like, I keep seeing a boy. The same boy that we said at 18 we were going to say goodbye to. And, it was st and he was still there. And it was just like... Something gotta happen. If nothing happens, I don't know what's, what's gonna happen next. I really don't. Like, I just, I'm tired. So, I went ahead and just got my own apartment upstairs. I was living upstairs at first. And it was cheap. And it was like, okay, you know, I felt better because I was alone. You know, I was alone. I felt good that I was by myself. Like I had to pick myself up. And I was doing, I was doing, I was doing pretty well. Uh, uh, I was struggling, but I was doing pretty well. Like you know, like I had the confidence to make sure the bills, the bills were paid on time. Like one time. <laughs> so you know, everything was going good. But when it was time to. I don't know, focus on me, like my heart, making sure that I stay on my heart, making sure that I'm taking care of myself, loving myself, make sure that I'm eating right, make sure that I go to bed on time. Like that wasn't really the case because I never really slept well. Like to this day, I still, like, okay, it's like what? It's 9.13 a.m. in the morning. 9.13 in the morning. And I have been up since 1 o'clock yesterday. 1 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. You know, like, my sleeping schedule is off. Like, it's all the way off. Like, all the way. Like, nothing in my life is organized right now. And I just... <laughs> I give up. And it's crazy because it's like, okay... You got your own place now. You on your hormone. Which you've been on for a year. You got your own car. You got this job that you've been working at for a year. So it was like, what's really the problem? Like, why are you not trying to push forward and if, instead of just staying here? Like, instead of just trying to really pick things up and move forward and it was just like okay well I really started to think about it like I really had to sit here and think like why do I feel this way like why can I not move and then I realized it it was like oh it came to me and it was just like oh okay I am so used to things just not lasting I sound so stuffy do I but it sounds stuffy let me know but it, I feel like I do um, yeah, I just felt like, I don't know what I just said, everything that I was saying, for the stuff, you know, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I felt like I, it wasn't gonna last, like everything that I have worked for is just going to be, <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like everything was just going to be like, okay, 
everything you worked for is starting to come up, and then you have to break it down again. Have to come up, break it down again. Build it up and break down. Build and break, build and break. Like my life. Me growing up, I was just always moving around. Always. Ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> we always moved. So I was just, I think it was because of that. Like I am so used to things just being temporary. Like everything is temporary. Like everything is just temporary. Nothing lasts forever or nothing lasts a very good long time. Like that was life for me. I have always learned to pack light. I have always learned to just know that nothing lasts and know that you will have to pick up where you left off somewhere else that everything that you're working for will, can, will come to an end at some point. At some point, everything is just going to start come crashing down and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, that was my mindset. And then, you know, after living here for a year, it was like, okay, I'm doing okay. <laughs> like, I'm doing okay. If there, was any, if, if there was really an issue, like if there was really a problem, it would be outside of my life and not really inside. Like it was like the people that I cared about, like my friends or my family issue. It wasn't really just me. Like it wasn't like a me problem. Like the, the littlest thing that I had a little problem would be was just being broke or not being able, having to walk to work or some shit like that. It wasn't like a serious thing. Knock on wood. But, you know, so it was just like, okay, so why can't you just get to it? Like, why can't you just get started on your YouTube? Why can't you get started on your content? Why can't you just get started on things that you want to do? Like, finish everything that you started on over the past three years. Like, now you have the time to do it. Why can't you just get to it? And it was just like, I'm scared because, yeah, it's not going to last. So I am learning how to not have that same mindset. So it's not an easy process because it has a lot to do with me as a kid. Like I was very angry as a kid. Like I was very, very frustrated. I was very, um, I felt alone. I felt very alone. I felt like. Nobody cared about what I had to say because I was trans. Like it was just, I knew what I wanted. Like I know exactly who I was, but people treated me different. And I was told that I can't be this person. I'm not allowed to be this person. That this person cannot exist. So that now that I'm an adult and I'm trying to exist as the person that I am, I can't do it. I can't seem to function. And that is frustrating. I'm sorry if I sound funny. I'm sorry. I really am trying. Like, I'm hard of hearing. And the stuff you know is <laughs> not helping. So, captions. <laughs> you could sign, but I'm feeling really sloppy when I sign. And excuses, 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 excuses. But, you know, I just, I just want to talk. <laughs> Don't judge me. I just want to show my bulky hand, okay? Like, the big you can, man hand, okay? Like, that's why I feel if I'm just like, and talk like this, but I have to just be. I'm sorry, like, y'all don't get it. Like, I have been very insecure for a long time. I keep looking at the fucking man right here. I have been very insecure for a very long time for the past since really I've been insecure about my body since Can you really think about it? Yeah. Twenty third birthday, twenty third, because at that point I was in the prime of much ambition. Like I really I think that was like 
I was in Las Vegas. I think I was in Las Vegas at that time. Like that time, I was very insecure because I just started my life. Like that was the time where I actually started getting moved, like actually starting to grow. And I was just like, okay, you know what, great. I just felt uncomfortable at that time because it was just like, I can't believe this actually happened. And as per usual, some shit came up and I couldn't do it anymore. I got mad. I got upset, like, I don't understand. When you stop taking your hormone for the first time, everything comes back harder. Like, I had a beard, okay? I had a beard. Like, back then, my beard wasn't really that bad. But after I stopped, my beard came back thicker. My voice came back a little bit more, uh, I want to say a little bit more deeper. But baby, that testosterone came in like, boom. Like, for real. It was horrible. Like, I really felt just... Like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I didn't like it. I was really angry, okay? Like, I was really pissed off because it was just like, I could have just stayed on my hormones, but no. I had to go off my path to do some other shit and just procrastinate everything. I get on my own nerves, okay? Like, I get on my nerves. Like, I really do. Because it's just like, you can do this shit. Like, you really can do Like, you can really can do this shit. All you gotta do is just face your fears, bitch. Just stop worrying about shit that don't fucking matter. And it's just like, you can do it. But you just rather choose to sit here and be like, oh my god, my life is just horrible. And I'm just like a whole ass nigga. And I couldn't even do this because every single second time I try, it just always just goes to hell. Like, I just hate being like that. And it's just stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I don't want to be like that anymore, you know, like, I just really want to do it. Like, there were so many opportunities that I could have came on this platform and had conversations with you guys about, like, when Poe first came out, about how many trans people have been killed over the past two years, like, it's really, really hot, and more even back then, but it's like... I want to talk about like just black people and our sexuality and I want to be, I be in mind with how I think about the thing or is it just, is it just me being part of it? I don't know. You know, about just talking about me and my experiences and seeing what other people say. Like I really want to see what people think. Like that's just me. Like I don't know why. I'm a nosy hoe. So I guess that's it. I always want to know what people are thinking about a certain thing. So, yeah. I apologize if I'm all over. I apologize if I'm a little all over. I My brain is scrambled. I even have a list up here to even try to get this whole video to make sense, but Right now, at this point, the way that my brain is moving, I need to stop looking down and being so nervous. The way that I'm looking at myself and the way that I'm presenting myself, I just feel like, uh, can we just uh, do this later? But at this point, it's just like, it's not whenever. You can sit here and be a crybaby ass bitch and sit here and just mellow. Just sit here and just or you can get out of your fears and you can just sit here and have a conversation no matter how dumb it looks and just fucking post it so that we can get this thing rolling so we can learn as we go. Do you see how easy that could be? 
but see how you choose to be a dumbass bitch and be so fucking insecure and be like, oh, well, I don't want to do this just because you know what? I think I might look ugly as hell, or I'm not saying the right words, or I'm just doing this and doing that. Like, I'm just so fucking picky. It's just fucking like that. I just don't understand that. Like, why do I have to be so picky? Like, can we just get this together? Because it's like you're 25 years old and <laughs> you're depressed. I'm just tired, y'all. I just grew up with, I had to grow up with fighting. I fought a lot. I fought my family, I fought my friends, I fought people around me. It was just mentally, emotionally, verbally, I had to fight because it was like, all I, all I wanted to be was me. I wanted to be me and y'all wouldn't let me and I was just sitting here with all this hurt and anger and it's like now I'm 25 I'm still holding on to that bullshit. Like, why? Like, why are you holding on to that? Like, that should have been let go when you were 18, when you were on your own. When you, even when you should have started your first hormones. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I am 25 fucking years and still holding on to it. I keep telling myself that. Like, I thought we knew better than that. I thought that we knew that we were going to get past this bullshit. Like, I thought we were going to get past it. But apparently, this shit looks probably slanted. It does. It is. Whatever. I don't care. Come for me. Come for me in the comments. And that's another thing. I don't mean to be a bitch. And I don't mean to be conceited or anything. But it's like... Girl, you look like this. You're pretty. You, I mean, I'm, not, I'm trying to be like, you're pretty. And you're sitting here sulking around, talking about how major girl you're like. I feel so fucking stupid when I say that. But it's just like, I don't, for me, for me, when I look at myself, it's like, girl, you're beautiful. Everyone around you says you are. So why the fuck are you sitting here saying that you're not? Like, do you really hate yourself? Like, do you really fucking hate, like, do you really hate yourself? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Because sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, who is that person? You got a lot of shit to let go of, girl. You have a lot to let go of. That's the right. To put it out on social media. It really is embarrassing. I don't like talking about my feelings like that. Like, that's not me. Like, I really... Feeling? What is that? <laughs> you got a monologue? What is that? What is feeling? But really, I'm a lovable person. I love being around people. I love being... Like, I love being around people. Like, I love being alone, too, but I love being around people. Like, I want to be a social butterfly, but it's like, no. You can't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't touch me, okay? Because I got some childhood trauma. Well, with me. So let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Get it all out. Throw it in the bag. Tie it up and burn it somewhere. Cause you just look good or something. Cause bitch, you too old to be holding on to this bullshit. I'm, I can't stand myself sometimes. Like I really don't. Like I am one stubborn ass bitch. Like I will tell myself like girl, do that video. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll cut. I swear, it's just, why am I not making YouTube videos, bitch? I'm always talking to myself, like, I don't get it. <laughs> I be having a whole ass conversation with myself in the bathroom, in motherfucking cooking, 
I be either watching TV talking to my goddamn self. Like, I'm always talking. I be in the car going to work talking to myself. I be at work talking to myself. Like, how, why would you not make a YouTube video? It's not hard. If you, it, it can't be hard. But it's not hard. Ugh. Don't look at me, but ugh, not classy. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I hope I post this video, even though I'm looking like a fool. You probably hear this creaking a lot. I can't hear it because I'm hard of hearing it, so shit. But y'all, <laughs> I am mean to myself. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I hope y'all doing okay. That's all I can say. Just shot a bed. I hope y'all doing right during this quarantine. I hope y'all being safe. My black trans sister. Keep that crown on, my honey. Let me just say one thing before I go. This is a true story. True story. Okay, so this was during like the beginning season of RuPaul's Drag Race, the 10th season. Yes, the 10th season. Um, Aquaria was in there. And I told myself that if Aquaria wins, I have to get my shit together. I have to get everything that I'm doing and get to it. Like I have to, like I swore, like, I have to. And soon enough, she won. Two years later, I'm still here. <laughs> what does that tell you? So, you know, like, I really... That was one of my wake-up calls. That. Because it was like, oh, man. Wait, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. There it is. Ow. Ow. You stop. But, yeah. Uh... Yeah, that was the wake-up call for me, and I was just like, you know what? And that was 2020 with all this pandemic bullshit going on, and black trans girls being killed. I was just like, what other time than the present to talk about it now? What other time to come out and start pushing yourself so we can talk, so we can start talking about these issues? <laughs> oh yeah. I really hope I hold this video like unity. Like, girl, post this video. At the end of the day, if you're watching this video, Unity, like, if you're watching this video, you have not posted it yet, you fucked up. Post this video, even if it looks foolish. Edit it, make it look good, and post it. Because, bitch, come on now. Like, we're 25 years old. Do you really want to do this? Do you really want to have this conversation with me? Before I go, I know I keep adding shit, but I, I just remembering shit. Cause at this point, bitches, love yourself. Love yourself. These motherfuckers do not give a fuck about you. If they did, they would love you anyway. These bitches do not give a fuck. If they do not, that's their motherfucking problem. Love yourself. Even if that means letting go of people, because guess what? That makes more space for good people, or, or even if we're here, if you like it, less bullshit for you to deal with. I'm just saying. Learn from me. I have spent my time trying to care for people who did not really give me the same energy back to me. And that really has kicked me in the ass. And that really has wasted time and my energy. I am probably saying everything wrong right now. It's so slurry, even when I'm hardly praying for a bitch. For real. Oh, it just, ugh. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Okay, anyway, bye. Bye, bye. Thank you for watching me. Oh, I love you. Hope you have a great day, great night, great sleep, great nap, great work time, great being lazy, whatever the fuck you're doing. I hope you're having a great time doing it. And if you're not, I'm, I apologize. I wish there was, a, I'm sending positive vibes your way because I need some myself. So, kids and love for all of y'all, because fuck it.